Now I hope you have understood the meaning of an oxymoron. What is an oxymoron? It is a literary or a poetic device in which we use contradictory or opposite images. Okay. In the poem, we also come across very unusual things such as a scroll of cabbages and a summer salting giraffe. Here we see how the poet has used his imagination to create completely new images with which to amuse and startle us. This we have already discussed that what is the purpose of writing such an unusual poem just to make us surprised and to um, uh, just to strike our imagination. Okay, now come over to the exercise. Uh, this is page number 26, exercise A, understanding the poem. Answer the following questions. Part 1 is, how do things get blown about on the moon if there is no wind? So, for the poet, uh, things are uh, getting blown about on the moon just because of the utter stillness of the moon, which is very strange indeed. So, everything is weightless on the moon. And there is no air. Keep this thing in your mind, okay? However, the poem is uh, based on sheer fantasy. So, anything can happen on moon. As everything is imaginary, so anything can happen, okay? Next question is, when the moon wind begins to blow, some strange things happen. Make a list of all the unlikely things that take place on the moon. Now, there are many uh, unusual happenings which are taking place on the moon. What is happening? The candle is shivering out. A giant marquee is booming and floundering past you. A scroll of hands and cabbages is knocking you off your feet. A tearing, twisting sheet of a uh, pond is uh, clouting you with a frog. A camp of caravans is suddenly squawking and taking off. A ferris wheel is bounding along the skyline, just a somersaulting giraffe. So you can get, uh, write all these images. Now it's up to you. You can write it like the way I said or you can just quote the lines in the same manner. How? A scroll of hens and cabbages knocks you off your feet. In utter utter stillness, your candle shivers out. A giant marquee booms and flunders past you like a swan at sea. Okay, so you can quote uh, the words um, in the same manner as they have been given in the poem.